Great news. The Polk Smart Cart plans are in the store, ready for you to purchase and download right now. I haven't had time to put together a grand announcement. I'm going to still do that. I'm going to take the Smart Cart. I have two and I use them together with both benches to create a really neat package that rolls right into the aisle of the trailer. It takes me actually less time than it used to to figure out where I was going to set it up. That is the biggest game changer. I'd get on a job and I'd set up my bench. And what I would do is figure out what I'm going to be doing. If I'm installing cabinets, I've got all the cabinet boxes. I need room to unpack those and do the disassembly, pulling the doors and the drawers out and find a place to stack those so I can do my install. Well, I want my bench set up because I'm going to be cutting lots of things to do with the cabinet install. And I'm going to need the miter saw and I'm going to need the table saw. And so I'll set up somewhere off away as few steps as I can, but it's usually a lot more than I'd like because I have to have room for the cabinets. Well, this I can just plop everything down in the middle of the room, set it all up, and then de decide where I'm going to push it in the moment. I can get it really close to where I'm working. And then when it's in the way and I've got to move some cabinet boxes around, I can push it out of the way. I've installed so many kitchens. I can just think about, you know, 30 years of doing that. I wish I would have had this set up then. And then, you know, on a big job, you know, you decide, you know, you've got a big, great room and we do lots of houses or have done lots of houses where the houses are 5,000 feet or 7,000 feet even. And so the great rooms are huge. We're doing all kinds of things in there. So I'll set up in a, in a spot and then work on trimming windows or running crown molding or uh, whatever it is. Well, I don't want to move the bench, tear it down and move it over here and then tear it down and move it over there. But you know, it's an extra 10 steps or 20 steps or 30 steps. And if I can just pop the wheels up, 900, maybe a thousand videos up and the whole idea of the the portable workbench has been there from the very first video that's what started the channel being lean efficient and mobile has been what i've been about my whole career but this really is a big change and uh, not an evolution a revolution and i know a lot of people have mentioned in comments about oh i wish you know the table saw would sit flush and then i'm telling you this is the way to go having having the core of the bench that you can set up and use quickly just the way you always could but then you can add on these different parts and pieces as you need them as soon as i get time i'll make that other video and pack everything all up and show you how it goes together and how it fits in the trailer or on my carts that are not in the plans i put them on and they're not absolutely necessary but i'm finding i like them and they're real easy to do and I actually do them in the video and show you one is this bar to connect the wheels so that instead of putting up uh, one corner at a time i can just push up one whole side and the other side and the other ones are those four strips i don't know if you can see them in the video with those strips when i put the saw horses in i sort of have to force them in a little bit because i put those strips in with the saw horses in place and push them up tight and so when the saw horses go in sort of push them down and it just really locks everything in if you like this video if you like following along with this smart revolution that's going on here in my shop be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe most important ring that bell when you subscribe so youtube will let you know when i put up a new video thanks for dropping into the smart wood shop you stay safe and have a great day